Well, good afternoon, everybody. Jeff from Rust Bucket Valley Garage. So we are doing some other stuff on the C3500. Uh, we noticed when we were doing the front brakes that um, when we were moving the um, the disc around to take in and get access to the pads, we noticed that there was um, some looseness that was uh, in the suspension system and what it actually was was the uh, the rod end that was um, the the ball joint on there was uh, was bad okay and this is what the rod end looks like okay this is part of your suspension steering uh, this actually goes up in here like this and it screws into this the sleeve here so basically what we uh what we found out is um this this joint here is like really sloppy okay and um it's a hazard if this has come apart when uh you're driving uh it could be a real bad deal so we actually tried to take and get this off with the wheel on and there is a a castle nut okay which looks like this okay and you can see the top is like a castle and there's a space for a carter pin to go through there and there is a hole in here that keeps it all together when it's in this configuration right here and we could not get the quarter pin out from underneath the car, so we had to take the wheel and tire off to take and extract the rest of the uh, the quarter pin out. So we went ahead and we did that, and then we loosened up this uh, bolt right here. This sleeve right here, there's a threaded side on this side, which is the inner tie rod end, and then the outer tie rod end. And when you go to a wheel alignment to take some brings your wheels into alignment, this is turned, okay, and it it affects the the uh, the toe in and the toe out on your front wheels, okay. So only minor adjustments on this are are needed to take and do that, okay. So what we did, we don't have a um, a wheel alignment rack, okay. However, what we did when we were unscrewing this is we counted the number of turns that we had to turn it to take and get it out. So we have a brand new tie rod end that our customer was nice enough to take and bring us. So when we take and put a little bit of lubricant on this thread to make it easier for the wheel alignment guy to, uh, to take and do his job and move things around, um, we're going to take and screw this in the same number of threads that the other one came out with, and that number is 37. So 37 turns on this to take and extract it from the sleeve, and that will get you back in the neighborhood. And then we're going to take this thing around the block a couple of times and see uh, if the wheel alignment is okay. And if the wheel alignment is okay, then we'll return to the customer. If it is not okay, we'll go ahead and send it over to the wheel alignment shot. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and lubricate this up and then uh, screw it back in here. This goes back up inside here. Uh, we're going to put another carter pin in there. Uh, this one here does come with a fitting. It's called a Zerk fitting. Uh, that you hit, hit that with the grease gun and lubricates this joint. Okay. This one had a Zerk fitting also, however, it is full of dirt and everything, and it doesn't really look like it got lubed much. So that's a reason that uh, it, it failed, probably. Okay, so if you want your uh, components on your front end and your steering, the things that move a lot, uh, you have to keep them lubricated. Make sure you take your grease gun to them about once every six months, once every year. Uh, make it make sure everything has uh, enough lubrication and lasts a long time okay hope I've given you a little bit of information here that uh, you can take and do things like this yourself and there's absolutely no reason why so I hope you have a wonderful day um, hit the notification button when you want to find out we're going to take and do something next and I hope you have a wonderful warm day
see you next time